Yo guys, what's going on? It's Confused Doge here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to give your video a blurry background in Sony Vegas Pro. So, first off, what you want to do is obviously uh, open up Sony Vegas Pro and get, uh, import your video clip in if you don't know how to do that. Uh, just go ahead and click on File up here, and then Import, and then Media, and then you can go ahead and look for your file. Anyways, I already have mine in here. It's actually a video that I recorded on my phone. So, uh, first off, you want to go ahead and put it into your timeline. As you can see, um, it's only showing the vertical side of my phone, so there's like no background, it's just black. So we want to go ahead and give it a blurry background so it can look uh, aesthetically pleasing. So first off, what you want to do is, uh, or rather like second or third, um, is go ahead and insert another video track. Move this up. Go ahead and click on, uh, on your video track, and then click U. To separate the video from the audio and copy your video go to the beginning of the timeline and paste it in i just did that by pressing uh, Control v uh so now that you have two of the videos overlaid over each other they're the exact one by the way uh right now it's only showing the top one since well the top so that's the one that your viewer is going to be watching and the middle one is actually going to be the one that's uh, blurry and it's uh, fitting the rest of your background so what you want to do first is go ahead and click on event pan and crop. Uncheck this to unlock the aspect ratio so you can switch it to a 16 by 9 one which is what YouTube uses. So I'm going to be going ahead and using uh, the width 1280 by 720 and if you guys don't know that's 720p. And so once it did that as you can see it's already starting to fill up the background. And go ahead and click on lock aspect ratio so you can keep that 16 by 9 aspect ratio for YouTube or just about any other video source today. And go ahead now and click on the edge and drag until it fills up the rest of the background. So there we go. It's filled up now, you can see, but it's, it's not very pleasing since it looks all defined and stuff and it's actually pretty confusing. So now is when you add your blur. So go ahead and uh, find your video track again in the middle. Click on event effects and scroll until you find Sony Gaussian Blur. Uh, let's see, here it is. Sony Gaussian Blur. Okay, click OK. And it defaults is fine. So there you go. Uh, there's your blurry background. Uh, it looks pretty nice. You can actually mess around with it and make it uh, a stronger blur or less blur, whatever you'd like. With these uh, vertical and horizontal range. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you later.